Hello everybody, my name is Walter and uh, today I'll be doing a video to show you some Sorcerer gameplay. I don't know you guys if you like it um, but if you do perhaps I can make another video or something else. So this is my Sorcerer and uh, I don't usually play as a Sorcerer but I normally play as a knight or maybe paladin. But today I'll be doing some sorcerer gameplay. If you like it, you can just leave a comment if you have any feedback. But uh, I'll be showing the Miriana Island. It is a very good area to hunt. You can get a very nice experience and boost your magic level up. I'll be showing you some techniques. Maybe if you like. Um, we have to go down here. Just straight down. There's food here. I'm gonna waste some great fireballs. When I'm recording, uh, my frame rate decreases a little bit, so it's not. I'm not used to it, so I will try my best to keep <laughs> doing the doing what I normally do. So I've never done that before. Mm, this will be my first time making a video showing some some stuff so I usually go down this hole this is the first island you just go north south sorry north up okay and then you get down the hole mm, let's see what we find here forgot to open my backpacks damn it um... okay let me see uh, loot alright so you keep going this way me. Um, as you can see, I brought some blank runes. Say, so, ah, but why? Uh, normally, I use it to make great fireballs while I'm hunting. I know it's a little bit expensive, but as you can see, I level magic lab. I get some magic levels. It is very good, in my opinion. Uh, it's not cheap because I'll be using mana fluids to mana potions oh come on I'll be using mana potions to to make these runes but I don't really care and I get experience I get a lot of money here because of creature products sometimes we get turtle shells and these turtle shells we sell for we can sell them um, 2 to 3k each so I normally get 3 to 5 and as you can see the creatures here they come in a group they usually come in a group so it makes easy to use AOE spells, runes, or whatever you want to use on them. Now I I will be showing you how to get in this area and where to go because if you just go around here, you won't get a nice experience. Now I'll be showing where to go, where you can find the most number of creatures like most most part of the respawn the good part of the respawn actually and 
and uh, well so I'm gonna kill this three here and um oh change the target so I'm going towards this area here I'm gonna fill up my mana a little bit I'm gonna put a life ring on I'm gonna get all this together and burn them <laughs> look uh, awesome by the way this Warhammer I dropped it here last time <laughs> I came here so as you can see um, this is uh, this place is not very popular I don't know if it is but you get a lot of things here uh, these creature products they worth 100 each and then I got 4 already and a lot of gold get this warhammer for now so we're gonna go down ho this hole and look at this a lot of uh, creatures so if you don't care about loot I think you can get even more experience and we land very nice fire wave <laughs> And if you don't care about the loot, you can just go and uh, kill them and walk and kill more. And then you get much more experience. Much more than I get. But I'll be getting all the loot. Because as I told you, uh, I, ex I spend a lot of money here. Um, because of the I make the runes here. So then I, I prefer getting the the money and later I will leave that and later I will start leaving the money the, the gold coins so I'll try to get so we fire wave them these creatures here they are mostly weak to fire so for sorcerers it's highly recommended but I'm not saying that druids cannot do well here and just the problem is that the the ice wave is not very effective but look here look we have so many creatures here let me get them all together so just use some runes here then we go down here and then wait one second and burn them <laughs> all right so um, I need to make more runes I'm not used to frame rate lower frame rate it's quite strange looks like I'm lagged but um before I go up there, I'm gonna go this hole up this hole here. Mm. And then just burn them. This is the good thing about this area. We can just uh, get the parts where we find them amongst we get all them together and then we get down the hole again I'm gonna leave this warhammer I don't like this and then we go down again and we head north now I'm gonna make some more Um, so I could have uh, gotten all them, oh damn it, I could have uh, gotten all them together that time, but 
I forgot about these ones up here. But anyway, if we we go very quickly here, let me just try to avoid these two. Okay. Now we enter the respawn slowly. And fire the great fireballs. See if we have it torn. No, nothing. Anyway, so here there's no other option. You go down, and then I will use the ring because, as you can see, <laughs> not very easy to handle these crabs. They hit a lot if they are close to you. But anyway, if they cannot reach me, I'm fine. Pot up a little bit. Make another room. So this is the reason I brought all these mana potions. Not because <laughs> I'm planning to hunt here for like uh, five hours. No, it's just one hour hunt maximum. And then they will be all over. Especially because I use five potions to each great fireball rune I make. So I have 20 here. So it's probably I'm gonna need 80. I don't know, for around 70, 65, because this is the big one. Uh, let's see what we have here. Nothing. Let's just try and make get them. Oh. Damn it, I'm messing up this stuff. Alright, I'm gonna go very quickly because I don't want the video to be very long. But I'll show you. We are almost in the end of the, the way. As soon as we get to the end, it starts again the cycle. And then you can make another run. It's very hard to find people doing the same cycle as I am doing right now. Sometimes people hunt upstairs or they get lost around here because it's not that easy to know all the maps and stuff. So most of the people just walk around. They don't have like a, a destination or a path to follow. But I usually do this and it's always full respawn. I never get like in the middle of the respawn and um, it's not full. We get a nice fire fireball there. Um, sometimes I need three shots to kill them, but um, as I grow up my magic level, I don't need it, it anymore. So we're gonna go up very quickly here and uh, kill the ones we find and get down. So very easy. Mm, grab the gold. A lot of gold, you see. So, go down again. Damn it. Whoa. I hate this. Oh, I missed the wave. And shoot it because they are, I am invisible. So, <laughs> they don't stop. But anyway, um, put the light ring on again and keep going this way so let's see here you will probably find some I think two more or three perhaps let's see yeah three mm, no no I got the other one <laughs> I thought I missed um, there isn't the fourth one Alright, so I don't like blocking these things, but if you want, you can just rush in the respawn and get the. There are six, there are six there, so then you just use fireballs on them. But I prefer single target, and sometimes using fire wave to help, 
but I don't like that much to get amongst them. I'm gonna use this ring because I don't want to lose health. Um, I'm, I'm playing in a flash client as you have already noticed and uh, I think it's better for sorcerers. Many people say that flash client is bad. Um, I don't have problems using it and especially because I can set all the hot keys I want and uh, it's very easy to to select the skills and to change something so I, th I consider it very very useful to a sorcerer and then we get four and the other two now and food no I don't need I usually make sure I'm full um, alright so here we can go up again this floor is usually if you find someone hunting probably they will be hunting this floor so damn it and the last shot I forgot to make more let's make more Let's see what we have here. If we got a turtle shell, no, no turtle shells for now. It's a shame. Um, but usually, in the end of the hunt, if you hunt for a while, for like one hour maximum, forty minutes, one hour, you will certainly get one, <laughs> one no, right? Okay, uh, two, three shells here. So, what we do now is go to the south, directly south. We can pick off them, single target, or we can AoE them. I like AoE, but mm, if you want to save... I don't know if it's more recommended to save money, it, if it's, it's more... I don't know if it's cheaper to use great fireballs or pick them with single target skills not sure if you know please let me know you can leave a comment telling me this and you see I got two turtle shields and they are quite rare I think they are more difficult to get than the turtle shell Anyway, so here we'll find two or three, the big ones. I usually kill them normally. I don't try to get them in group because it's more difficult. I'm messing up the gold here. I should organize it more. And I'm almost getting my level up. Um... When I get level 60, I'll probably start hunting dragons and dragon lords. But for now, I'll be just getting magic level and hunting hunting easy creatures like these ones. And here my level up. <laughs> nice. Um let's use this mana making you will probably find very strange the fact that I make the runes I use ah, but uh, it's good you get so much magic level up because of this so nice uh, I, I've started doing this when I was playing Oh, and here is where we started as you can see so I don't want the video uh, I can tell you my you my stories in another day, <laughs> perhaps. I don't want the video to get so long, so I I will finish the video here, and I hope you liked. 
and uh, if you want to see me hunting somewhere else, my knight is level 172. I can uh, almost handle anything. And my paladin 110. So if you want to see a place uh, or how I hunt there, let me know please. And uh, and if you like the video, please leave a like and a comment. Thank you guys. Bye-bye.